Pokemon Nuzlocke's. A challenge for the most daring or the most stupid of gamers. Now as somewhat of a Pokemon enjoying myself, I thought to myself, how hard can it be? So I got myself and two oh no. friends to do a Nuzlocke race to see who would win. Sounds simple, right? The game of choice? Pokemon Emerald, one of the Pokemon games of all time. So, let me lay out the rules. If a Pokemon dies, they're dead, no second chances. You can only catch one Pokemon per route or area. You can't level up any higher than the next gym leader's max level. And the most interesting part, if one of us catches a Pokemon, that locks it for the other two, and they're not allowed to catch it. Oh, and one final thing, you have to name your Pokemon, so it's extra painful when they die. So, first things first, we had to decide who got which starter. In Pokemon Emerald, there's a choice of Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. Who is the best one? So in order to decide who would get which one, we span a wheel. Connor was up first, and he got Torchic. Cool. Then it was me, and I got Mudkip, the bestest boy. And finally Jamie with Trico. And after all that was decided, we were ready to begin. Three, two, one, let's go. So as with most Pokemon games, first off you have to fight some trashy wild Pokemon. Once they're gone, you get given your starter from the professor, and then you can go from there. Uh, oh yeah, we have to nickname. We're gonna call this guy... Let's call him Carl. It's gotta be a short name so I can type it quickly. <laughs> I'm already stressing out. <laughs> Same. Now after we had our starters, we had to, um... Uh... I don't know, I've never played this game. Uh... What do I do? I'm already lost. I have not played this game before. I'm going up Route 101. Wait, let's get the encounter. You can't till you get Pokeballs. How do I get Pokeballs? I know what I'm doing! So I eventually made it to the top of Route 103 to meet my rival, May. Hey, what's up, May? Guys, guess who's getting balls before anyone is- No! We're already behind. Yeah, we are. I'm slapping this tar chick. So after defeating May, we had to go back to Professor Birch's laboratory to get our Pokeballs. And after saying goodbye to Mom, our adventure had begun. First off, we had to catch our first Pokemon. And since Connor was already so far ahead and had caught a Poochiana, that meant that I was left with Wormple. This guy is the hungry caterpillar, so we're gonna call him Hungry. With Hungary in my arsenal and Connor catching Poochiana, that meant Jamie was only left with Zigzagoon, whilst I was still struggling with controls. Where's my fucking Zigzagoon? <laughs> How do I use my running shoes? I'm still lost on that. Okay, let's get our encounter for 103. And get my encounter, I did. And I ended up getting a Pokemon, which I sounded way too excited for. Oh, I've got a Wingo! Let's go. With Pico in my party, we kept going. All the while, Connor was very far ahead. I'm already at Petalburg City. This is really helpful, me knowing how to catch Pokemon. Um, I just completely forgot about the fact we're doing a Nuzlocke and my Mudkip nearly just died. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to the Pokemon Center right now. <laughs> After that close encounter, I definitely didn't encounter a route that I had to kill because I ran out of Pokeballs. No, okay, right. And I also definitely didn't get my Wingo killed. This this isn't what happened. It's just David Bowie, guys. Come no! <laughs> Did this my kept die? No, the, um... My Wingo died to a crit. Checking in on the others, it wasn't going much better. Jamie encountered a C dot, which he didn't seem too happy about. Oh, oh no. Oh. And Connor was getting his Pokemon killed to a Team Aqua Grunt. Okay, guys, my Poochyen is now dead. <laughs> and all the while, I was getting my ass kicked by a Shroomish. Poochyen that the Team Aqua Grunt uses. Oh no, I'm I'm dead. This is just there's is, there's no other way to put it. <gasps> it missed. Oh my god. <gasps> I survived! Wait, did what? you win? Wormpool's dead, but I survived. After laying my two fallen soldiers to rest, we kept going. We will learn from this, and we will come back stronger with new Pokemon. And get new Pokemon I did, as I got my new encounter for the next route. And I've got Taylor. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna let you die as quickly as Wingo. Burb. We're calling this guy Burb. Oh no, we just... We're calling it B because I misclicked, <laughs> okay. And I also caught a Silcoon from Petalburg Woods, which I fittingly named Hungria, the even hungrier caterpillar. Whilst Jamie and I were flailing around in Petalburg Woods, Connor was already at Roxanne, the first gym leader, who he promptly defeated. I eventually got to Petalburg as well and went straight to the gym. All right, where's this gym at? Let's go to the gym. I'm, wait, I'm not being funny, right? Surely I could just one hit all her stuff with water gum. So that's exactly what I did. 
Nothing bad is gonna happen. EV training your Pokemon. Okay, right. There's the first gym leader. Let's go. I'm not being funny. That was just easy. With a newfound confidence and an evolved Mudkip, we then progressed the story by helping this guy out who got robbed and then moving on to Juford Town. Jamie wasn't having a great time against Roxanne, the first gym leader, who killed three of his five Pokemon before he got the badge. Next up, we had to go to Granite Cave where I caught a Makuhita, which is where we ended our first session. Ah, uh, finally, Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna call this guy a fat fuck because he's a fat fuck. So at the end of day one, this was what my team looked like. Day 2 started by reaching the end of Granite Cave where we met our boy Steven before moving on to the second gym. Connor was a little bit ahead, so he'd already beaten the gym leader by the time I reached him. Yes! Sorry guys, I just get really excited when I beat, beat someone. I wasn't too far behind because soon enough I was fighting the next leader. Right, we're fighting the gym leader. Let's do this. Her first and second Pokemon weren't too much trouble. Meditite's down. Uh, I think oh, nice. I'm gonna switch out to Taylor for the final Makuhita. But then, disaster. Ah, uh, if you think about it enough. I believe Steel's a physical type. Vital Throw gonna kill me. Oh my god, I just got... I just got one hit. Wait, your Taylor got one hit? My Taylor got <laughs> one hit. And with that, there's the second badge. Oh my god, that's so annoying. We only lost one Pokemon. But it was the Burb. Rest in peace. After we laid B to rest, our next stop was Slateport, where we met a certain someone. Oh my god, Stern's Shipyard, let's go in. I thought no you were comment. trying to get rid of that identity. No one knows what I'm talking about, guys. Oh my god, Captain Stern. Captain Stern went off somewhere, he had to do some work. Yeah, I wonder where he's gone. Before we found the legendary Captain Stern, I got my new encounter on Route 110. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, okay, I'll take that. What? I've got Electrike. An Electrike? which I named Bolt. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Okay. Oh, oh no, here comes trouble. I swiftly defeated these team Aqua Grunts and saved Captain Stern, I, I think. To be honest, I don't really know what's going on still. And Connor was just coming up to the rival fight. My Silcoon is evolving. Hungria is evolving yeah. into... Oh no, I accidentally pressed B. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> why, why? Shut up, why? Shut up, Connor. But get back on track. Oh, yeah, go on. Uh, a shiny wait, soul. wait, 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 sorry, 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 <laughs> <laughs> sorry. This guy is calling his team simps. Pokemon was ahead of its time, guys. This was all going on whilst Connor was getting absolutely fucked by May. Three of my Pokemon are dead. Also, I have uh, Famine, Carlos, and uh, Ah. Connor was fine in the end and didn't lose any more Pokemon. But after hearing about his fight, I decided to do a bit grinding before I fought May. And it was then when the true king of the run arrived. Connor's roommate. Oh, that's fucking Pokemon. Pokemon. Wait, wait, get him to get him to sing the song again. <laughs> sing, sing that Pokemon song again. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Be the very best. <laughs> Pikachu, I'll <laughs> see you. Oh, it's brilliant. I'll give you a Pokemon, Pokemon Go, if you leave me the fuck alone. Right, let me go and get my phone then. <laughs> oh my god. Since this was the most fun we'd had in the whole run so far, we decided to see if he could pronounce the names of some Pokemon. Oh, that's Gadded the Vol. <laughs> Sorry. What about this? Oh, that's Exarnus. Ex <laughs> <laughs> pronounce this guy. Vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now, unfortunately, I lost the footage for the rest of the night, but basically, is what happened. Connor went and fought the third gym leader, Watson, who he beat without issue. Then Jamie went and fought the second gym leader, Brawley, who he also beat without issue. And finally me, I fought the third leader, Watson, a little while after Connor did. And unfortunately, I lost Bolt and Fat Fuck, but I made it through. After the disappointment of the last session, I started off by doing a bit of grinding. Jamie had only just made it to Slateport, and Connor was so far ahead that he was getting ready to fight the fourth gym leader. After I beat the third gym in the previous session, I was only left with two Pokemon. So I then went out and caught a Geodude, which gave me the opportunity to do the funniest thing imaginable later in the run. Please tell me this is the right one. And I'm at Flannery. Nice. Yep, and fuck. Whilst Connor was having a tough time beating Flannery, losing a few of his Pokemon, I was progressing in the game and managed to get my next encounter. Wait, I got a Torkoal! Hey. That's sick! I'm gonna name him Jesus because he will be the saviour of this run. Okay, first Perfect. encounter of Route 113. What have we got? Oh, it's a Spinder. Uh, what should we call Spinder? LSD. Yeah, so I can either get a Lombre, a Nuzleaf, or a Surviper. It's a Lombre! 
I can get Ludicolo. Ludicolo. I'm gonna call this guy Ricky because he looks like a Ricky. Whilst I was busy advancing the plot, Jamie was getting ready to fight the third leader, Watson. Yeah, that's the end of A. Avon. How's the fight going, Jamie? Uh, it's plus all versus the electric at the moment. Fuck you. Okay, I have a strategy. Go on. My strategy to win is to paralyze. Okay, oh, Magneton no, is down. My strategy is not working. Come on, Jamie, surely it's gonna work. You got this, bro. Plus, I fainted. And soon after, Jamie had lost. The first person out of the three of us to be eliminated. Unfortunately, Jamie's time was up. Well, Jamie, we're sad to see you go. You win the honorary bronze medal. Thank you for your participation, man. Yay. With no time to grieve our fallen comrade, and remembering the fact that this was still a race, I swiftly moved on to the next gym leader. Right, Flannery, let's go. This should be, yep. Is it kill? Oh, thank God. Camera up. I don't think I'm going to do much damage to this. This is it. Nice, come on. Going to heal up here. Overheat. Nope. Well, you should go you Please should don't do this. much. Oh my God, that's so Ooh. strong. I do not like that one bit. Come on, kill it. Kill crit, it. Crit, kill crit, it. Crit. Yes, come Let's on. go. That's four badges. With one more badge and one less opponent to deal with, that was where we ended that session. I started off the next day by catching myself a trappage, who I named Admiral, and then me and Connor both decided to do a little bit of grinding, before cycling my way across the entire continent to fight my dad. Hey dad, what's up dad? Let me just heal up real quick dad. Hey dad, what's up? Bro, he's sending out slacking, like, right now, and I'm scared. Is that? Uh oh. Oh my- Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one little bit. Do I use water gun and hope for a counter? I don't want to risk it. It does so little damage. Oh my god. Oh, wait, you said it doesn't attack every other turn. So what if I switch now? Shit, sure, I never thought of it like that. That's actually quite smart. And then body slam. And it gets the kill, surely. Nope. Yes, come on. Wait, oh shit. Okay, that was what I was worried about. I was worried about the slacking. Okay, crit- yes! What is Belly Drum? What does it do? Oh, he's just dead then. He's just dead. He's just dead. He's just- he's just- that's- it's just an L for him. That's just a huge <laughs> L. Oh my god. On my way up to the next gym, I encountered the only good Pokemon available on that route. I got Tropius, let's go! I caught Tropius and named him Skeggy. Before going all the way up to the next gym, I took a quick detour to catch an electric type Pokemon, who I named Pikachu, because according to your parents, every Pokemon's a Pikachu. I then cleared out the Team Aqua Grunts from the Weather Institute before fighting May and moving on to the next gym. You've already started. Yeah, we've already started. Damn. Um, good luck. Connor beat Winoa, and by the time I got to her, I was about half an hour behind. How hard could this be? <laughs> Just keep Double using Ice Beam for now. Yeah, Swablu's dead. I might be quicker because I'm level 33 and hers is level 29. Yeah, risk it for the biscuit. Risking it for the biscuit. Okay, no, we are quicker. Let's go. Oh. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We're fine. We're fine. I thought that was a berry, but no. Let's switch in Pikachu. Is this a, is this a one hit? It is a one hit. Let's go. Oh, he's quick. Okay. That does absolutely no damage. Thank you. Good night. Easy sixth badge. Let's go. I'm coming for you, Connor. I'm coming for you. With that badge, the stakes were now rising, as it was now a race to Mount Pyre. Connor arrived first, but I was hot on his heels. What Pokemon could I physically get in Mount Pyre? There's Vulpix. Oh, <gasps> where'd you get Vulpix? Top floor. Connor was wasting time by scaling the inside of Mount Pyre to get Shadow Ball, before eventually defeating the evil Team Aqua. But by that point, I was now only 10 minutes behind, and a few mistakes were starting to creep in. I'm at Meteor Falls. Where the fuck? Oh, I've gone the wrong way again, haven't I? Hello, Archie. Oh, oh, they just straight up leave. Next up was the Team Magma hideout, and as I was ever gaining time, I was now only 4 minutes behind Connor, and the stakes were starting to rise even higher. At the Magma hideout, where'd you get the TM for strength? Oh, hello. This boulder is shaking in response to the magma emblem. Oh, that's pretty cool. With us now basically neck and neck, it was a race through this labyrinth to get to the Team Magma leader. Ah! I'm here. Wait, you're right next to Maxi? Yeah. Shit, I'm I'm right next to him as well. <laughs> oh shit, so we're basically neck and neck. Groudon's just jumped for some weird reason. <laughs> With us the closest we've been for the first time in the whole run, we now had to fight Maxi. We are literally neck and neck. <laughs> oh, now I've got to fight him, okay. 
I think I've just beat the battle. I've just won. With Connor quickly beating Maxi, he regained a little bit of his lead, but I wasn't too far behind. And now with a fully evolved starter, we had to jump from one evil team's base to the other. I quickly grabbed the master ball before reaching the end. After defeating this random guy, next stop was the seventh gym at Moss Deep, which was where we ended that session for the night. The seventh gym was psychic, with some of the Pokemon being weak to ice type. So knowing that, I visited Shoal Cave, where I grabbed the Never Melt Ice, which boosts the power of ice moves, and I also grabbed one very round boy. I of course used the Master Ball because it was extremely funny, meaning that Holy Moly would join our team. Um, okay, the strat is as follows. Fuck it, we ball is the strat. So, we open with Tropius and Graveler. Graveler's sole mission here is Kamikaze. God bless and God speed. <laughs> Let's do it. Now, self-destruct. Come on. Here we go. Here That's it is. Good. Here it is. Here it is. I want to see this moment. Come on. There goes Zatu. Was that not very effective? Oh, fuck it. Oh. oh my god. Go for Soul Rock. We're gonna swap in holy moly. Oh, by the way, I used the master ball on Sfeel. Wow. <laughs> Be because why not? Okay, there's Sol Rock. There's Sol Rock. Let's use Blizzard. Please kill it. Please kill it. Come on. Okay. Yay. Yeah, now I just have to deal with this Lunatone, which has Psychic on her. Survive. You're, you're, you're no, <laughs> holy yeah. moly. The master ball is gone. <laughs> I caught him just for this gym, and I didn't even get to use him. Oh no! Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. This Lunatone is now gonna die. Boom. Easy dubs. Oh. Rest in peace, holy moly. Oh, I'm actually quite sad about that, man. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Go on, say a few words. I met holy moly in the Shoal Cave. I had been looking for a solution to help me in this battle, and I encountered him as a little round sphere boy, and now... He's passed on to the great beyond, but his death will not be in vain, and he will be remembered as I reach the steps of Victory Road. Graveler. Oh yeah, Graveler was just a meme, we don't care about Graveler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with my gym battle over and Connor resuming his race after stopping to watch me, we had some more plot to deal with. First off was clearing out Team Magma from the space station, before locating the 8th gym in Topolis City. Yo, this place is sick. Before locating the underwater cavern that Team Aqua were using to capture Kyogre. I know, lots of plot. I found the underwater cavern much quicker than Connor did, meaning that going into the final day, I was ahead for the first time in the run. So, it's the final day. We will now either complete the game or we will die and fail, <laughs> so. Also, just so you know, it's just my POV because Connor lost his footage. How are you feeling, Connor? Scared. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm quite scared as well. Jamie is here. Hello. He's, of course, out, but he's um Yay. here watching along, giving us support. On your marks. Get set. Let's go. We were both neck and neck at this point, and as we were making our way through the puzzles in this cave, neither of us were giving anything away. Do you know when you first go into the cave, did you go up or to the right? Uh, I went one way. Oh, thanks. This is at the point of the run where I'm now gunning for the win and I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> Bro, you... <laughs> I don't know what I'm about to run into because it's like fucking misty or whatever. Yo, great. Yo! Yo! Oh god, Diesel's far ahead then. You have to fight Archie now. Yep. After beating Archie, I was comfortably in the lead. And now, it was time for Red. This Red. Yes, welcome to Red. Kyogre got angry and dipped out of there. We now had to stop climate change. They really gave Kyogre the whole ocean and ground yeah. on this tiny little rock. That's messed up. Next up, this 10 year old had to rescue the whole world. Now is not the time. Now is not the time. I'm getting a phone call. First, we met up with the champion of the region, Wallace, who took us to Sky Pillar to awaken one very long boy. Hmm, who's this little snake? It's a shiny survivor. Oh no, it's gone. Rayquaza won his gulag and dropped back in to tell these guys to quit it. And they did. Look, there he is. They made a whole ass animation for this. This is sick, bro. Playing this as a child would have been dope. After we finished the plot, me and Connor were now once again neck and neck at the final gym. With stakes and panic rising, we both went straight in pretty unprepared and it would prove fatal for one of us. Oh, wait, I know this. I remember this. 
I fuck. I misclicked. Oh, you fucked it up, you dumbass. I misclicked. I misclicked. With me falling down into the depths of the gym to fight the trainers, Connor was once again ahead and reached the leader first. But who would prevail? I fucking love disc. Wow, that's scary. What's the difference between that and normal love disc? Whilst I was still down fighting the trainers, I had to try and decipher how Connor's battle was going based on his commentary. How the hell did he survive? Plus four. Oh god, no, 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 no. Did he use the dragon attack? Yo. What? <laughs> Once I'd caught back up, it was time for one of the hardest battles of the whole run. Please hit, oh, please hit, oh, please never please mind. Hit, please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. Yes! How's that no <laughs> one hit? What? <laughs> After dealing with Wishcast the second time around and sweeping Juan's other Pokemon, I thought the rest of the battle would be a breeze. Oh, how wrong I was. How much does Thunderbolt do? Using double team. It's using double T. I know that's the point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't like this. This is the most dreadful gym leader battle I've seen yet. Connor's I know. Losing, Connor's losing his marbles and Diesel's losing his Pokemon. Wait, has Diesel lost something? No, no, no. no. Surely he hits this. Surely he hits this. Surely he kills him. Surely that's the 8th badge. No. Oh. Oh my. Oh no. Turns out this Kingdra knew both Double Team and Water Pulse, which if you don't know, has a chance to confuse your Pokemon. And on top of that, it's able to rest and recover its own health. Now you see the issue. Oh my god, this is the worst fucking Pokemon to ever exist. Diesel, I know we made a gentleman's agreement, but can you at least just watch my stream for this part? Okay, yeah, what's going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now since you can't see what's going on on Connor's screen, I found a meme to show you. Son of a bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. No way. No. Fucking way. That's quite oh, that's possibly the funny. best thing I've ever seen. With Connor's electrode now dead, we still had our own issues to worry about. The fact I was gonna let it die of a warrior's death and it just fucking misses. No. Oh no. What's happened? Oh. Pikachu died. Shit. This is the Fucking worst, man. It keeps using fucking rest, bro. I think I've got to admit GG's here, guys. Diesel, you've won. Diesel, would you like to watch the very last moment of my run? Now, like I said before, I can't show you what happened, but he did take one of these. Now, there wasn't time for celebration, as I still had to win. It's struggling. Oh my god. That's so funny. The reason I've won this gym is because it's struggled to death. Oh my god. I never thought I'd say this, but clearly you just happen to be the better trainer in this whole run. And therefore, I declare you the king of green. Yippee! I am the Emerald King. <laughs> yep, that's right. Me, this guy, the king of emeralds. I win the challenge, but there's still a challenge to come. Because can I beat the Elite Four and the champion? Let's find out. So, I've made it to this moment. I've beaten my two opponents, my friends Connor and Jamie. And now we're here at the Elite Four. We've, um, we've got a few new team members since yesterday. I went and I caught a big on and i've got bob over here um this is our team i'm pretty happy with it and i've got connor and jamie here to help me here along the way uh i really hope i don't lose now <laughs> yeah i mean i guess without further ado let's go so i've i've been been doing a lot of research and um strategizing beforehand my strategy going into the first fight i'm mainly just going to use ludicolo um torkoal and swampert but i don't know if brick break will one hit is it a one hit i don't actually know Probably not, no. it's not powerful enough. I oh, know. I missed, for fuck's sake. Hit the the potions. Hit the Giga Drain. That should, yeah, okay, cool. Have you got enough potions? I've got loads of potions, bro. <laughs> Perfect strategy. I think it's Cacturn, yeah. Which into Jesus, and if I don't miss this first one, I should be able to kill it in one. Yeah, okay. This should be a one hit. I'm really confident about these first couple Elite Four because I've been doing the most research on them. All right, okay. I'm quicker. I'm quicker. That's a one hit. Very nice. This is where I switch into Crobat. And two wing attacks should hopefully just kill him. 
Yeah, okay, cool. But and that's the first double. Elite Four. I think we're just gonna sweep with Carl. Uh, yeah, he's gonna use Protect, um, and when he doesn't, we're gonna kill him. Close yeah, there. that's the second Elite Four. Now this one I'm a little more worried about, but I'm still um, still confident. Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Yeah, no, here? you've got a five level. Advantage. That's not a one hit. What the hell? Oh no, it missed. There we go. Let's kill. That should kill. Yep. Okay. Cool. Right. Um, Wall Rain. Now I'm scared what? about Wall Rain. I no, guess just... Earthquake. Oh, I'm quicker as well. Let's go. Is it a two hit? Oh, crit. Ooh, a crit. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Okay, one more should kill it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, okay, who's next? Who's next? Back into Ludicolo. I'm not buying it. Okay. Um, that's Celio now. Bro, Glalie's always been such a weird Pokemon to me. It's just like a floating ball with cat ears. What the fuck? Just go for the kill. I'm going for the kill. Reflect's gone now. Because overheat is... What? Okay, that's not the end of the world. I can just use a full restore. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's number three. Jeez, are you still still doing that very last thing with all Cole on Milotic? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's Drake, yo, I'm a lesbian too, bro. Oh, fuck off with Protect, bro. That's a one hit. They never use Protect on once. No, they don't. This is one hit. I think this is a one hit as that well. That should be one hit. One hit, yeah. Yep. Cool. Right, uh, who's next on the four times week list? Kingdra. And I could crit him. Who knows? Maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah. Smoke screen. Oh god. That's not fun. That is not fun at all. Should oh, I that's kill? fine. That's fine. Give me your health points. Give them to me. Oh my god, he's gonna heal here. He's gonna switch back into Carl. What's with King just in this game and being annoying? Eh, it's fine. He's dead. Goodbye. Easy. Right, next one. Come on, who's next? Oh shit. That's fine, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Goodbye, Flygon. Goodbye, Flygon. I should be fine. You're bulky, don't worry. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. One hit, one hit, one hit. Yes, come on. Let's Is go. that it? Let's Is go. Done? Yeah. He's done. Come on. And with that, I was at the champion. All that stood in between me and Glory was one last battle. Epic battle music. First Waylord, I think I can just Giga Drain it. It's probably going to take about two, three. Yeah, I think probably two. That's fine there. He's <laughs> very tanky, Jesus Christ. Oh, Waylord, oh, he coming. Oh, no. Oh, that was, oh, no. oh, that was a crit, okay. Giga Drain again? Yeah. Oh, damn, I expected him to use a full star. No, he, he doesn't use that on Waylord, I don't believe. There's one. Right, Earthquake, Hydro Pump. Oh, I do Why would you use Hydro Pump on me? Oh shit, I didn't expect that to do that much. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Dioko. Yeah. I still haven't used Flygon or Salamence yet. Yeah, they're just gonna make it to the Hall of Fame with no uh, contribution. Do we open with Wing Attack or Poison Fang? Wing Attack. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh. Fine. Don't heal. Yes, okay. Come on. That's three. My lot. Oh. Oh. Um. Imagine I crit here. Imagine it's just a one hit. It's just easy as that. No. Okay. It's never this. It's never that easy. It never is. That, 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 uh, heal off. We're going for it. My lot is dead. Fine. Come on. Please. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Now it's just Whiskas and Gyarados. I, I haven't used Bacon or Admiral at all. This could go bad, but we're gonna we're gonna switch into Flying. We're just gonna Earthquake it, and hopefully that's a one hit. No, nowhere near. What the hell? Okay, now. I'd have been won't do all that much with it. Yeah, I don't know. No, it won't. Okay, attack it. Wait, you can't heal. Why can't you heal? Hyper Beam's a two-turn move. Oh. Shit, you're right. Are you are you gonna do it, Diesel? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna, do, gonna it. do it. I'm gonna do it. It's probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna do it. Um, all I'm gonna say is he died for our sins. Yeah, this guy does is fucked. He died for our sins. He died for our sins. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Yes! yes! That's, that's the go. run! 
You That's the run. You deserve Any, this. We've done it. Any words for your fallen Jesus? He will rise again. <laughs> Let's go. Can't believe we did it. So many points along the way, I thought it was over. The third Shame. gym that I lost the footage for, where I lost 50% of my team, I thought we were done. But no, we came back. I hope you guys did enjoy this. This was the first kind of Pokemon run that I've done on this channel, and I hope to do more. So let me know, and please do subscribe, because this took a long time. Let's see the Hall of Fame, everyone. Ludicolo, Bob, Bob. the Crobat, Admiral Ad the Flygon. Carl, oh. the OG from the very start, the one that no one cared about, and, and the, one, the, the one Lord that and Savior. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye.